Sunday being a work free day for my Christian friends. In the same manner, that tolerance should be extended to Muslims as well. She'll have Friday, I'm not saying for children, no. But the time for going to prayer, Allah says, if calling to prayer has been made, go and pray, leave everything. But today, on a Friday, we see our children writing examination without looking at Allah's injunction. So I am saying, I will continue supporting Monday, I mean Sunday as a work free day. That should also be extended to Muslims. That is very important in the spirit of live and let live. Similarly, I support, for example, my government's recognition of the Gregorian calendar, which is purely Christian. Inaugurated by Pope Gregory in 1582, historically speaking. The same thing that should also be given to Islamic calendar. Because our nation is a multi-religious nation. That should be understood in the spirit of living together and loving one another. That is important. Similarly, before ending my speech, decorum demands of me to express my heartfelt appreciation on the unquantifiable efforts of his eminence, the citizen of Sokoto, Saad Abu Bakr, in this field of ensuring peace and stability amongst Nigerians. At this juncture, it is my honest hope that a similar conference should as well be organized by other states in Nigeria to borrow leave from Kano State under the leadership of our uh, tireless governor, Dr. Omar Abdullah Ganduji. Finally, His Excellency, the governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullah Omar Ganduji, ought to be congratulated for, this, for organizing this kind of get together amongst Nigerians for understanding and peaceful coexistence. Once again, thank you very much. Welcome to Kano. Shukran. Thank you. Nagode Ndalo Eshe Eshe Eshe. Thank you so very much. Sheikh Mohammed bin Ruthman, PhD, scholar and Islamic cleric. At the moment, he is the chief imam of Sahaba Jumat Mosque Kundila. A round of applause once again to appreciate the chairman of the Interreligious Conference Committee.